Hey guys, Jay Cross here. Uh, this is just some more tips uh, to help some of you guys who are saying, hey, I don't have all those legendary units, or I don't have um, uh, those type of units. So I kind of went back and looked at the, all the units and then put a couple of different um, different options down. And these are three of the ones that can get you through all the waves. But that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to not lose lives. Uh, some Sometimes you're going to lose all your units and sometimes you'll do better. It all depends on how lucky uh, the raiders are, what units attack you, and whether your units uh, destroy their units quick enough or not. So there's strategy involved in it and there's also a little bit of luck as well. So, And uh, the rank of your units might matter uh, if they're not ranked up enough. Uh, so anyway, one thing that I did find, that the more legendary mammoths you put into battle, the less uh, lo less loss of life on your behalf. Uh, so when I just used two legendary mammoths, I used three ETs, I used the jetback troopers, uh, the samurais, and the field tech. Now this field tech is very nice, comes in handy. Uh, it can take out a whole row of units in, in one shot, so don't count these guys out. Uh, if you don't have the Samurais, you might want to put some of these field techs in there. And if your field techs are ranked up, you may want to put a, several of them in there and just start cutting through these rows because uh, they're very useful. But one key to success is stun locking. If you can stun lock, uh, you can do... If you have two legendary mammoths, you can wipe out most of these, uh, these units, soldier units, and stun the others pretty quickly. Um, one thing you got to watch out for is these guys right here, these two, uh, and this one at sometimes, these units are going to cut through your front row really fast, so you got to get rid of them. Uh, this brawler, if he attacks, he can he can use one of his moves and just wipe out so many of your units, especially if he crits. Uh, so be fearful of these. Knock these guys out first, and then like freeze them if you have to. Freeze this guy, and then start stomping with your mammoth. Just You want them dead. Uh, the beginning of each round. Don't let them attack you because that's just going to kill you. So this was the first one <clears throat> and this was the results. Uh, only lost one ET after the uh, the battles, that battle. Um, so <clears throat> now as I remove the legendary mammoths, my deaths, uh, the, my unit uh, that get killed increase rapidly. So Another strategy that I used was the uh, Legendary Raptors. They do very well. I also used uh, the Chinook and um, these Arch Hunters. These Arch Hunters, um, you can lose all of your units, and these two, these might be the last things that you have alive because they're considered uh, plane units or air units. So a lot of these units can't even attack these guys, and uh, even though they uh, they can they can do some decent damage 150 uh, and if they crit they can do even better um, they could be the very well the very ending thing that that gets you through all the waves having those guys alive uh, so this was using uh, this notice I'm using the ETs very heavily because they they're great meat shields and they also uh, they're durable and they also can freeze these these units so that you can attack them <clears throat> so this was the outcome of that I lost two of the uh, ET, well, I lost all three of the ETs, one of the Samurais, one of the Legendary Raptors, and the Chinook helicopter. Uh, so, and you can see those Arch Hunters are still alive and barely even touched there. Uh, so that's another possible uh, formation to use. Uh, another one I used was I used Wimps, and I used ETs, I used Legendary Raptor, <laughs> Raptor. Uh, legendary boars and I use two of these muscle bearded guys um, and two of the drones and um, this was the uh, result of that <clears throat> lost two of the uh, ETs I lost the legendary boar the one of the drones and all three of the uh, my wimps uh, so but I still got through all the waves so the point is, is if you don't have legendary mammoths, you're going to take losses. Um, you just want to decide uh, how much losses that you're going to uh, 
you know you're you're going to be able to do before you need to heal your units and when you get to a certain point where you've lost some of your main units, it's better just to not get all the rest of them killed. It's better just to wait till that other one comes out of the hospital uh, so that you can get your army back up so that uh, you don't wipe everything out, especially if you have limited hospitals and uh, resources and stuff, because that's just going to back up your, uh, your, your um, healing times. So uh, you also want to think about... Um, uh, think about what actual enemy formation you're attacking. If you find one that's completely challenging, that keeps beating you, stop fighting that one. Uh, keep uh, resetting and trying to find a new one uh, to fight. And um, also, if you run out of options, uh, my my son, I Creepers, was um, he was just using three wimps, and he would pick that formation with no air units in the first one, and he he. You get a thousand points uh, every time. Uh, so, anyway, you guys, uh, I know some of you are having a hard time on this one because you don't have some of the legendary mammoth, uh, legendary units. Um, but you're going to have to be creative, and you may, for this boss strike without the metal units, just have to settle for doing the old-fashioned wimp and grind or collecting resources. All right, hope this video has uh, given you a couple more formation options and. Uh, some guys will post some more below so that you guys uh, can see some of the formations uh, that work as well. Alright, uh, good luck and uh, hope you enjoyed the ball strike as much as you can.